You know, one of the nice things about watching that St. Louis-Seattle game is some familiarity you see with the Rams offensively, a West Coast team uh, coordinator brought to St. Louis from Philadelphia. So looking at them offensively could pretty much call almost every one of their plays. And when you look at one of the big plays in the game, it was in the third quarter. It's 10-3 to St. Louis at this point. Seattle's been stagnant on offense. And this was the 50-yard screen pass that really broke the back defensively. They hit a screen pass on the next third down for a touchdown, and it's 17-3. And game, in the game of football, and we'll get into these X's and O's, it's amazing how it still is a game of inches so many times at the pro level. Uh, St. Louis gets into their three-receiver, two-back set. And for Seahawks fans, that should look really familiar to what Bobby Ingram did, Daryl Jackson, Joe Jervicious, Max Strong, Sean Alexander. It's a group that, that forces a defense, because you can run really well, as the Seahawks did in this front for so many years, that forces you to keep some of your base personnel on the field. So even though you have three receivers, and this is their little receiver, Amendola, who made some plays, you keep Curry on the field because of the threat of your downhill run game. And what St. Louis runs on this play, they get in what's called green right, and they're going to motion Amendola across. Okay, green right, E right, and it's just Fox to weak, screen right. So they run the play action, uh, downhill run fake, and a pretty good one is you're going to clear the fullback out of here, and then they run the screen off of that. And they catch, excuse me, they catch Seattle in a cross dog blitz, which if you have any play, and Mike Bellotti and I talked about this in our broadcast, if you're going to run a screen, if you can throw that screen into the blitz, it can be high risk, and as you saw in the game, it can also be a high reward. So Seattle decides to run a stunt and stunt their two linebackers, and they're going to actually fire zone and drop Raheem Brock once again, who actually chases his play down. And they run a stunt and what we call a cross dog. And Colin Cole is going to stunt here. Lofa comes here, and we call this cross dog because those two linebackers cross and get some good pressure. Now, the problem is when you're in that blitzy mode and those backers and people and even your hands and your tackle, they all have an assignment. They're all very, very aggressive in that. And, and St. Louis just hits it right. They run the cross dog stunt. Okay, Earl Thomas is going to come in. You've got just the three defenders deep. You've got Aaron Curry, Earl Thomas, and Raheem Brock underneath. You've only got three guys underneath. So when that blitz occurs and all of that action comes at Sam Bradford, Steven Jackson gets out, and this was the guy, unfortunately, in Colin Cole, the only guy that could really make that play, and he stunts right into it. It's right in his vision. He sees it. He tries to get out, and if you watch the replay, literally, he even grabs, and I think the coaching point there is if you see that action, Colin, grab the back. Just tackle the back. Hold on to him. Don't let him leak out and try to make a play, and he's inches away from making a play. But once he does catch it and they release those linemen out, there's only one guy in space with Raheem Brock trying to run it down, and thus you give up a very big play and a 50-yard screen pass, running the screen right into the teeth of the blitz.